and Dami from Ilani Tenet Museum. How are you? It has been a while since I uploaded the last video. We have so many things going on. We're moving and repairing our old studio and I hurt my wrist so I couldn't play piano and after that there was still construction going on near my new house so a lot of struggles so I couldn't upload the video. Thank you so much for patiently waiting for my lesson. Now you will still hear some noise. There is construction just still going on so you will hear it for another couple more months. Now today we're going to learn Korean song. This song with a broken chord pattern and we're going to review dotted rhythm which makes syncopated sound and one new musical term which is octava and technique of playing octaves. Let's see how it goes. Now if you look at the score, the left hand plays the chord and right hand simply plays C holding the bottom. Why? Yeah, because of the tie. Now, you can of course play a whole entire left hand, but if you do that, the sound will be heavy. So to prevent from being heavy, what we can do is holding the bass and then repeat it top note. That's gonna make it a little lighter sound, but it will give you full color of the sound too. So right hand goes C chord breaking off and then play it again and repeats again. Same thing. And another repeat left hand up to here. So up to here is the introduction and then the actual song start from here. G but you will start with finger number two so that you can go up to the next note C so C E G E and then another the second line C chord and then switch to finger number one right hand and you play left hand one two and the left hand play with finger number two so that you can go to B. It's easier to go. Two, three, four. And the left hand again. Two, three, four. Your right hand fall right after four here. Got it? And then right hand is A and left hand is C. So it's pulling it one, two, one, two, two count. Because one and a half plus another half is two. So the rhythm is one, two. Always rhythm comes, the eighth note comes right after two. Then what if we move it on to the next line? Start with the G right hand and left hand is still on C chord. One, two, three, four. Another C chord, two, three, four, and then your right hand starts on A flat and left hand goes C, two, oh here is the tricky part, eighth note, quarter eighth, how it's gonna be, 
We self-divide the beat as one, two, three, four, because two quarter note is the same as four eighth note. So we count it as eighth note as one, and grouping it, these two eighth note become a one quarter note, one beat. Then it's going to be one, two, three, four. Can you see? So practice this part a couple of times, and when you can play it well, then speed up a little fast. One, two, three, four. Got it? Then what about next one? Right hand is still tied and left in place. One and two and three and and then change two finger number one. And your next note is right hand E, left hand E two. Active higher, so you go same F, but the next F. So go up to here and play F, B, B, F, and then do you see the dot is ended here? That means the next F you have to play as it's written. So which is this F previously the same one? How are you gonna play it? Just so, so only for this measure. How are we gonna play? One, two, and you cross it over. Oh, this is really hard to technique. If you add it both in together at the same place, it goes one, two, and an active lower. Two, and then step up to B and left and go to G. And left hand goes to B. One, two, and then right hand plays B and F, softly dropping it. One, don't play it too loud. Then you will break hold the melody line. And the same melody line starts back again. So if you can play at the first page well, then the second page comes easier. And then the third page will be almost the same as the first one. Then let's keep going on. Now the second page, the same melody line starts. One, two, three, four. 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 Got it? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then it's easier. Do you see? One second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then come back again. Now this one is just counted as a big one, two, three, four. Two. Four, one, two, three, four. 
confusing part. There is a lot of syncopated rhythm. Whenever you see the syncopated rhythm, so just count it as a one, two, three, four, and then another one, two, three, four, and count it. Then that way it's much easier. So once you get the rhythm, then play fast. Then it should be easy. Now, if we move it into the next one, is start with the G and right hand is B, B and G. One, and, and left hand stop. And then now you will play a C, but right hand you have to come with finger number five. So then you can go to the next one. And then F, E. And here is the finger. You can play finger number two, one. Or you can play one, two. It really doesn't matter whichever comfortable for you. Normally we said we should not use finger number one for the black keys. But if you're ending it and then you go to the next stepping up like this, it should be fine. So you can play it one, two, three, right hand, or two, one, three. Got it? So if we go from here, F, E, but it's too far to play it the next note. So you have to change to five. It's easier. One, two, and then finger number three. And then shifting the finger number three within the same note. And then shift it down to A. One slide it down to A sharp, A flat. Three, four. Come to C chord again. Three, four, C, E, F, G. Up to here. This page, mostly you have to be careful with fingerings. If you don't play the right finger on the right time, then you will end up short finger or you have too much finger and then you don't know what to do. So you have to make sure that here you change the fingering on the right spot. Got it? That's another important technique. 